Hey guys, welcome back to Plus Girl Slay the channel. I am Talia and today I am coming to you with a few tips to consider before going to school to be a paralegal. If you're interested, stay tuned. They see the vision I've found. Don't so if you don't know, I am currently going to school um, to get a bachelor, well, an associate in science and then a bachelor's in paralegal studies and I have been embarking on this particular degree since I want to say 2011 is when I switched over and started considering it um, but I recently have been seriously pursuing it since January of this year or spring semester of this year so yeah it's been one heck of a journey um, thus far I'm actually wrapping up my fall semester so at, um, in December I've been a full year in the program and so so I hope that someone finds this and it either encourages them or at least okay them so first let me just give you a little bit of background about what a paralegal is what a paralegal does so a paralegal is also known as a legal assistant those terms are actually used interchangeably and they to me is a distinguished type of group from your average secretary because there is specific schooling that you have to go to but paralegals are basically people who assist attorneys in delivering services and that could be research related um, hands-on related depending on what field you're going in and as a paralegal through formal education training experience paralegals have the knowledge and expertise regarding the legal system substantive and procedural law which qualifies us basically to work as a as a legal assistant or a paralegal under a supervising attorney um there's no distinguishable difference between legal secretary and paralegal we just tell you guys my intent why i chose paralegal and what I intend to do with that degree so um, my full intent in getting this degree is not to be a paralegal I know I love paralegals I love what they do I appreciate what they do but it's not a career that's for me it's not it's not a career that I feel like is on my path to be what I want to be when I grow up if that makes sense so I'm basically using this degree as a way to propel me to what I actually want to do so originally like every well like most high school students I went into college and I knew exactly what I wanted to do I wanted to be an attorney so I think I did a google and asked a guidance counselor like well what degrees or what major do attorneys usually have and he gave me the wrong answer <laughs> He said political science or pre-law, but usually political science. So I started my journey as a political science major and I hate political science. <laughs> I hate every facet of it, unfortunately. What I've learned in being in this program is there is no specific degree to be a lawyer. You can have a degree in culinary arts, you can have a business degree, you can have a degree in drama, you can have an engineering degree, you can have whatever freaking degree you want to be a lawyer. So there is not one specific degree. You know, it's not like the medical field where if you want to be a doctor, you major in like pre-med or biology or chemistry or things like that. That's not how law school works. There is no degree that you have to have in order to get in as long as you have your bachelor's. Starting my journey, I actually got really worn out with it because again, I hated it. And doing the prereqs and doing all the crap, I was like, girl, I'm out. So <laughs> I researched what else could I do that a put me in the same kind of ballpark of law, which I love the law. I'm a lover of the law. Um, and <clears throat> could also hold my interest because political science did not hold my interest at all whatsoever. So <laughs> I seen paralegal and I changed my major. I was just like, oh yeah, they're using all the terminology. They get all this cool stuff. What drew me to, and I'm sorry I keep itching my leg. 
what drew me to paralegal was the fact that you learn a little bit of each piece of the law so that you can see what part of the law you're comfortable with dealing with or there are some parts of the law where I don't feel my strongest in and because I have that little taste from doing paralegal classes I can say hey I don't think I'm going to be this good at it so I can either take another class to see if I am going to be good at it or I can take it off the table point blank period which I think was amazing. So that is my first reason why I chose that major is because it was going to give me a little taste of each part of the law um, whether it was family law or real estate or probate or civil litigation or criminal litigation it gave me a little taste of each so that I could see if I liked it or not you know the second and and final most important reason that I chose paralegal as a major is because it teaches you a lot of the legal jargon and I didn't want to go into law school and have to look up everything I'm sure there's still a lot of things that I'm going to have to look up but I already have a good feel for it being I feel like having a degree in paralegal studies gives me a little bit of an age because when I hear certain things or even like hearing attorneys say certain things, I'm not like totally like I don't know what they're talking about because I've had that little taste of it. Um, being that I'm a paralegal student, I'm just like I know exactly where to find it. I, or if I don't know exactly where to find it, I know where I can search. I'm already introduced to so many legal search engines and so many ways that lawyers find information. It's just going to help me. Right, so that is why I chose a degree in paralegal studies, and um, I am very excited about this degree. I just know that paralegal is not what I want to do, and the main two reasons is because I am meant to be an attorney, that's what I want to do, that's what I know in my heart I'm supposed to be doing, and so I can't, I can't let that go to settle to be a paralegal. Um, I have, I'm going to take the next step and I'm going to complete it and I'm going to do it. And if you watch my vlogs, you already know this information and I already take y'all with me. So, um, but yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> I, it's just not where my heart is. There are some people in this program with me. They are so happy about it. They love doing it. They don't see themselves doing anything else with it. There are some people that are very empty in the program. They're just like, I don't know. I thought I liked the law. I thought I liked this. So I just decided to do it. But me, while I love the program, I love every aspect of it. I just know it's not the job for me like I I would I would probably work it while going to law school if I needed to do that I'm definitely using it to my benefit now um, but it's not my end goal so yeah that is why I chose to be so, a legal major I'm gonna tell you guys so I started the program back in 2011 and I took like one or two classes I left college completely to work Girl, I thought I had in my head that I was going to make so much money working. I was going to be self-made and blah, blah, blah. No. And unfortunately, I got stuck at dead-end jobs that I don't, I'm not very passionate about. But you got to do what you got to do now so you can do what you want to do later. So I, after a long, treacherous fight, well, it's not that long, but after a pretty crazy um, treacherous fight back into school, I re-enrolled in the program in January right yeah in January I re-enrolled into the paralegal at my local college and I got in and I got back to work so let me now give you some insight as to the degree that I'm working on now which I'll be done with in May S degree in paralegal studies and I'll actually be done with that in May so I'm going to tell you what all is required to get that degree I live in Florida so these are what is required in Florida. I'm not sure if that translates to other states, but if you do a quick Google, it'll tell you. So, in order to get your Associates in Science and Paralegal Studies, three credits, um, which is three credits are equal to one class, so you have to have composition, a literature credit, a communications or speech credit, um, a social behavior science credit, a humanities and fine arts credit, a math credit, college level, an ethics credit, a computer information literacy competency. You can either test out of that or you can take the class. I think I, I tested out of it. Um, so yeah. And then you have to have an enhanced worldview class, which is like world, um, what did I take? I think I took like world religion, those type of classes. 
And those are prereqs. So in the state of Florida, in order to get any associate's degree or anything, you have to have taken those type of classes. So then you get into the fun stuff. And that is what I'm most excited about. That's why I've been like so happy with the semester, uh, with this year. Um, because I'm like finally like in the meat and potatoes. I was getting so sick of prerequisite classes. They are like the lamest thing ever to me. Just because it's not like what I want to do. So uh, even though I, I did, you know, good in those classes, girl was what I want to do. So I wasn't really into it like that. But now that I'm actually in the program and I'm like in the last of it, um, I'm like finally into like all the good classes, right? So these are what are called core, your core studies or core classes. And so you need 22 credits. And you have to have Business Law 1, Intro to Paralegal, Legal Research and Writing, Techniques of Interview Investigations, Computer Legal Research, Law Office Management, Advanced Legal Research, Legal Assistance Seminar or Work Experience, and then Wills, Trust and Estates, Guardianship and Elder Law, Business Law 2, Business um, Organizations, Real Estate Principles and License Law, Real Estate Transactions, Civil Litigation, Civil um, 1 and 2, Criminal Litigation 1 and 2, and Family Law 1 and 2. So just off of those, you see what I mean by having this a major? I get to be a, in a little part of each part of practicing law, um, or at least a good chunk of it, because we don't do like, and I say a good chunk of it because we don't do like cyber law or anything like that, with a really good broad view so I can see in what direction I want to go in so I'm not like repeating courses or getting into stuff that I know I'm not interested in at all. Real estate law, I don't like at all, okay? I only pay attention in case I needed to buy a house or to help my parents buy a house or to help my family some kind of way. Uh-uh. I don't like civil litigation at all either. I think it's petty, but you know, whatever, girl. Um, wills, trust, and estates. Also not my forte, but I pay attention because, again, you may need this thing. I have is research the field. Um, I think that's very, very, very important because if you think, like... Like I said, I have a lot of people in the program that they think they like it, um, but they're not doing so good in the semester because they realized all that it entailed, and they realized they didn't like it, but they didn't research it. So I say research the field, and in researching the field, the top three things that I would also consider researching is what it takes to be, to be one, so that you can see your course load and determine if it is too much of a course load for course load for you or if it is not something that you know that you're going to do your best be able to do your best in even if you don't like what you're studying my second tip um, when researching the field is to research the pay that is so important you got bills I got bills and so if it out the gate if you're not going to be able to make the money that you want to make or have opportunity to increase in that money in an amount of time, depending on what your plans are, this is not the field for you. Um, and I don't think that you should always determine what you want to go to college for by pay, but it is very important. When pay is usually a really big dependency on that because, again, I got bills, you got bills, and there's going to be things that you want to do. If you don't have the money to do it, you're going to not feel so good about it. Um, also on researching higher hiring ability and what they require when hiring higher ability i'm not sure if i'm using that right but higher ability so you want to when researching um paralegal in your area your state wherever you are you want to um definitely make sure that you can get a good job with your as degree or your bachelor's degree Tip number two Look inside yourself and see if this is the route that you want to go into. Take some time and meditate. Take some time and write down what you want to be in life and how, if paralegal is that path, how can it help you achieve it? Because um, it's very important to live a life that you not only sustains you monetarily, but sustains you mentally um, because you Tip enjoy what three, you're doing. Try to take a free class. So, um, free class slash shadow. And free classes are not always offered. I remember being in high school and there was like a workshop that colleges used to do. Um, and there was a representative from the college in, that majored in different things. And then you can actually sit down and talk with them about it. And sometimes they will set you up with um take not a entire semester but go into like one or two classes you can also reach out to colleges and ask for a mentor 
and so you can shadow a student in the major that you want to go in and see what their course load is like what their real life is like just kind of follow them around for that day so that you can determine if this is something that you want to do is stay encouraged <laughs> Don't, um, and I say stay encouraged because say that you're like gung-ho about wanting to be a paralegal, you've researched it, you've shadowed, you're like, oh, heck yeah, girl, this is it for me. And you get in it and it's more than what you thought it was going to be or it's not as much as you thought it was going to be, stick with it because you could be like me and have that one semester where you're taking like all the parts of it where, you know, you don't really care or girl... I don't like any of this um and it could kind of discourage you just like oh, this was gonna be like <laughs> you know what I mean stick with it stay consistent and just know that semesters end so once that is done you are definitely going to get into another go into another semester where you're going to be learning more of the things that you want to learn um that's where I was in spring <laughs> and summer but I had to push through it and now this semester I'm taking like all the Lydia's classes. Um, so yeah, five. stick with it. I would suggest um, as a paralegal you're taught to basically be prepared for whatever type of law firm you work for, whether it is family law, whether it is probate, whether it is civil, whether it is criminal, whether it is um, the law firms that do like deal with uh, car incidents or things like that I would definitely try to find a niche and what I mean is I would definitely try to find a topic or a part of the law that I really like so that you can become strong in that during your program time and so once you finish that degree in paralegal studies you look better to the firm that you're to the firm that practices the type of law that you're wanting to go into and that can be volunteering um that is going to be a really good avenue to help you um decide it and also you can see about taking extra classes in that like i know that i want to do criminal litigation so i am actually looking for everything criminal litigation like girl my i'm tunnel vision on this criminal litigation thing and so I have actually found a internship opportunity or I've seen internship opportunities or volunteer um, opportunities in that field. So I can have that on my resume as well um, to make me look more hireable if I want to pursue a job in paralegal as a paralegal for a law firm that does tip number six research your school there are a lot of sham schools out there and you do not want to be caught up with the school that is that loses their accreditation or it doesn't have it at all and you don't ever want to put yourself in a position where your degree all your hard work means nothing so you always want to make sure you're researching research those schools research um, and minor tips for when you're researching schools you want to look at cost of course you want to look at the amount of students that graduate because that's going to tell you the amount of people that actually stick with the program you want to see where they are ranked um, nationwide or just in your state because if they're not a really good school, chances are I would love to tell you that when you get out in the world that your school doesn't matter, your degree does, but it's not. The better your school is, the more prestige your school is, the more people will actually want to hire you. And make sure when you're researching the school that their requirements match up with, you know, what normal colleges require. Um, if you're so like me, I'm going to a state college um, and it was a community college before. But as a community college, when I first started that program, all of what they required for that AS degree matched up with the university. So if I decided that that community college or, you know, was not a right fit for me, I know that university path is my path 
guess what? Easy transfer. Easy transfer right on over to yeah. that university. <laughs> I think I've talked a mouthful. Those are my tips what to consider before going to school to be a paralegal student um, or to get a degree in paralegal studies. Um, remember this. Remember, remember, remember. Nothing is set in stone. It is okay to start one degree and then transfer to another one. You just want to make sure you have a plan. Don't waste money and don't waste your time. Because those are two things that you technically don't get back. You don't get back your time and you don't always get back your money. Once a semester is done and you decide you don't like it, you don't get that money back because you took the classes. So prep yourself, thoroughly research for yourself um, to ensure that it's something that you want to do. And it, that goes for any major, not just being a paralegal. That goes for going to school for medicine, for engineering, for... African American studies for business for whatever you want to definitely 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 see if that plan works for the plan that you want to do see if it lines up with what you want to do for you that's it for this video I am going to do a separate video basically going over um, my first year experience as a paralegal so stay tuned for that but in the meantime, remember, do a bigger and better in true plus size fashion. I will talk with you beauty soon. Be blessed, be well, and bye.